Hi, Joe Devon here from Positive Living Skills bringing you another PLS Tuesday tip. And today I just wanted to talk to you about kindness and it's not a new concept, it, you've probably heard a lot, especially lately this year with everything that's happening, but just, it's just a reminder uh, that so, it's such a simple concept, but sometimes really, really difficult to do and to uh, not to think, to feel and to behave in kind ways. And I mean toward ourselves and toward other people. And which is why we've made kindness in a part of the intentional teaching approach in the primary school wellbeing program from Positive Living Skills and the early childhood one. Because sometimes we forget, we build up such a set of high expectations of ourselves of other people and then when things aren't working out how we'd like we get very critical of ourselves we get very very and that gives us makes it easier to be critical of other people because we're holding ourselves to that super high intense standard then and we're trying to live up to it then it's easy to um, have a go at other people you can hear my hat cat in the background um, for not for not reaching those standards either so kindness, it can be a kind word, it can be a kind thought, and this is where your self-awareness comes in as to how you actually put your thoughts together, what you're, how you're speaking to yourself and then how you're speaking to others as well. So kind thoughts, a kind word, and I know we see memes of this all the time, but a kind word can literally change someone's day. It has the power to change somebody's life. People you know, people you don't know, reaching out with a message, even just in you know those exchanges with people you maybe don't know well, you might have that in the shop at the supermarket or whatever. And it's really easy to react or respond when someone isn't kind to you. We get very, we can get very critical of that as well. So you might have an exchange at a shopping center or whatever, and someone isn't really having a very good day. And you can, you can leave that exchange and take on that and then put that into the rest of your day or walk around going, oh, how annoyed was that person? You know, they shouldn't be in that job and they should be, you know, and I've, I've, I've said this myself. So it's, this is, these are much, as much a reminder for me as anything. So I guess my Tuesday tip is to think kind, think kind to you, think kind to others. And then allow, regardless of the circumstances or maybe the behavior of other people as well. So perhaps, a tip next time you're in the shop when you're getting some service and the person isn't having a good day and they're not smiling at you is to maybe try and leave that exchange really trying to smile at them and just say I really genuinely hope you have a great day and because you don't want to put sarcasm into it because that won't that'll have the opposite effect so give it a go uh, be kind have a happy day and see you next time thanks for watching